You're watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're joined once again by Morgan Jacobson from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. This past weekend on Sunday, uh, the general hunting season 2022 wrapped up. Uh, what do we know about it? How'd it go? Yeah, Chet, it's, uh, it, you know, in, in a lot of ways, it, it went very well mm -hmm. for, for many hunters. Uh, we, we saw, you know, weather uh, systems and, and snow move in fairly early on. In fact, you know, all all of November we've seen, you know, cold and and uh, snowy winter conditions. And so, uh, in a lot of ways, that helped hunters uh, mm -hmm. because it it got animals moving, uh, and and it, it it just enabled hunters to be able to 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 get to those animals a little bit easier. So, in a lot of ways, it was it was a very uh, successful season for hunters. Mm -hmm. That being said, you know, results were a little bit mixed and depending on where you look, uh, you know, some places, uh, you know, west of, of uh, the Gallatin Valley here, uh, you, know, condi you know, conditions were a little bit different and, mm -hmm. and hunter success may have been a little bit lower. Uh, however, you know, down in, you know, Alder and Cameron, uh, you know, Madison, area uh, hmm. hunters did very well in fact uh, some of our, our biologists that ran check stations down there saw record numbers of of, hunt, of successful hunters come through check stations this year hmm. I know in all that information that you gather in the check stations and that that's important for future hunting as well absolutely so our, our biologists run check stations throughout the region and throughout the, the hunting season mm -hmm. uh, you know to, to gather preliminary da data uh, as they meet with hunters uh, to look at things like hunter numbers, uh, hunter success rates, uh, you know, what what species and what type of animals they harvested, things like that, uh, that, you know, kind of leads into the data that we're able to gather through our hunt, uh, our hunter phone surveys that, mm. that'll happen here pretty soon. So uh, it's, you know, I know our biologists, they just enjoy uh, visiting with mm -hmm. hunters and, and hearing what they're seeing on the landscape. Uh, and really just being able to congratulate them on, uh, on their success. And, and we certainly saw plenty of that this year. Uh, I'm assuming uh, that chronic wasting disease and that, the testing, that, that numbers, all that information is being compiled as well, what we saw for the 2022 hunt. It certainly is. Uh, and, and that testing will continue as some of our late season hunts, which we've talked about, mm -hmm. as those uh, get rolling. And so, uh, you know, chronic wasting disease continues to play a role in, uh, in hunting seasons in Montana. Hunting is still the primary primary tool by which we can manage chronic wasting disease mm. uh, and so that testing is going to continue. Uh, we may also see some extra you know special hunt opportunities specifically uh, because of chronic wasting disease. So past couple years we've had a, a CWD management hunt um, down in, in the Ruby and Sheridan area mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, stay tuned for more information on that. Mm. We, we may see an opportunity like that again this year. Uh, and so, you know, best uh, way to get that information is through our website at fwp.mt.gov. Um, and we'll, we'll, you know, provide updates as, as um, those opportunities develop, as we learn more about chronic wasting disease, and, and as we see it pop up in new places, uh, we'll continue to, to let the public know about it. That's perfect. A future topic for us here on This Week in Fish and Wildlife. That's right. Yep. yep. Hunting, hunting season 2022 is in the books now. So. That, that's perfect. Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that is This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife. I'm Clark.